Welcome to the shortwave radio channel. So I'm playing around with long wave now. There's really not a lot of non-directional beacons, and mid, I'm mid-afternoon, so not the best time. Um, I will try it again the long wave, but much later, towards midnight, 1 a.m., when uh, conditions might actually be better for some of those beacons that I can hear. Uh, the lack of single sideband is um, is showing here because I like to use single sideband on radios to find the weakest beacons. So here you don't have that capability, so you got to listen very closely. Uh, for those, I had a, a comment. Someone said I don't get long wave. Cause, you know, I don't know how, what to do. To get long wave, you have to turn off the radio. And then you have the set meter button. Press and hold. And then it's going to say medium wave 10 kilohertz. Go down once with the tuning knob. Long wave. It should say off. If you press, you see it says off. That's the default. Press to sit, just put it on. And there you are. You are on in the, uh, the setting. And there's a lot of other settings here when you look at the different settings for the radio. It's just crazy. Uh, the default of the FM bands and everything. Pretty cool. So once you turned it on, like that says LW on, you can turn on the radio and the receiver will actually uh, get the uh, long wave capabilities. So you boot the radio and when you press AM, you'll see that you'll toggle through uh, medium wave, short wave and long wave on the radio. So playing with that and my review is uh, coming up shortly. Uh, today, pretty sure I'll be uh, having a good idea. Um, I'll add long wave info to a little later if I don't get uh, anything that I can try to tune or compare with another radio. But uh, review is really coming up uh, soon.